to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the different breeds of chickens that I've got from my first flock. Now there are all kinds of different breeds for chickens just like there is for dogs, for cats, for horses, and almost any other kind of domesticated animal. Now for chickens and other farm animals, there are usually two different kinds of breeds that you can have. You can have a heritage breed, which means it's something that's traditional that our forefathers would have had and they've been keeping in line, like a Rhode Island Red or a Barred Rock that's been around for 100 years and the chickens have been made to look the same way and keep the same genetic pattern as they always have. And then there are other breeds called hybrids, which will be a cross between two of the heritage breeds and would be made to specialize in a certain thing. Uh, maybe you, they wanted uh, more meat on the bird and they'd uh, cross two hybrids to make it, that happen. Or they wanted increased egg production, so they would cross the Rhode Island Red with something else and try to achieve that because Rhode Island Reds are traditional good egg layers and they may want a different kind of quality from a different bird. So they would take the hardiness of, say, a Plymouth Rock and then cross it with a Rhode Island Red so they could try to get the egg production of the Rhode Island Red and then the hardiness of the Plymouth Rock. Pretty much all of the birds that I have, aside from one Rhode Island Red, are going to be hybrids. And I picked those because they had the best egg production from what I was seeing at the local store that I got them from. Now I have seven chickens in my flock right now, and four of them are going to be the California tan variety. Now they are mostly white chicken, but they do have some tan feathers, but they mostly get their name from the tan eggs that they produce. Then they produce very well. They're gonna be giving you an egg just about every day. They're a cross between a white leghorn and a production red, both of them known for their egg production, and I think this California tan gets the best of both worlds with them. They're really good. They lay uh, large eggs on regular, and sometimes they'll give you what they see in the supermarket called uh, jumbo eggs. They're humongous, and you couldn't ask for a better egg-laying bird. They're pretty hardy from that leghorn genetics and the, the production red bred in with them really gives them increased egg production. One of the other hybrid birds I have is the California Gray. Now the California Tan is a relatively recent breed that they've come up with. I've heard, read different places that might have been bred first for tractor supply, for getting people into backyard uh, farming. I don't have a definitive answer for where they came from or what they first originated because there's not a whole lot of information out there, which is part of the reason I'm making a video about them. The other breed that I have is the California Gray Chicken, and that was developed in the 1930s by a professor and for the production of white eggs because in the 1930s everyone wanted white eggs and they were looking for a breed that could produce a lot of them and the california gray chicken is a cross between a barred rock plymouth rock chicken and a white leghorn again so they're kind of cousins with the california tan as well they are really good at egg production and this is probably the friendliest chicken in my flock they come with black feathers and they lay uh, white eggs, which I would say are more of a medium size where the California tans are larger, but they're still very regular producers. Between three and 330 eggs a year that you can get from the California gray chicken. So very friendly, will follow you around in the yard, will almost listen to you when they feel like it, and just a real overall great bird. Uh, they also are known as a great dual purpose bird. A lot of people can use them they have a lot of good quarters for meat if you wanted to raise them for that and are very good egg producers as well. Here are some of the California tan chickens. Here. And this one is a California gray. They're mostly white with some speckled on some of them. And some, also some tan feathers. saw some of the previous videos. That's what those little chicks were that were all yellow. That's them now. Darker chick 
California gray right here. And that's our guinea. This is a uh, red six link chicken, just a cross of a Rhode Island red with, red with another breed. And over there is a pure Rhode Island red. collection of their eggs, uh, these tan eggs, from which the California tans get their name, would be their eggs. This is only the red star, and I believe this is the Rhode Island red. This white one comes from our California gray chicken. This is the size, average size, of one of our California tan eggs. And this is the size. California gray eggs. Now the California gray lays the white eggs. California tan lays the tan eggs. And here they are side by side in comparison. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but those are the average sizes. I think both of these breeds or birds are excellent options if you're looking for adding to your backyard flock or if you're looking to start into egg production and something like that. One of the drawbacks to having a hybrid variety is that you can't reproduce them with your own chickens because they're a cross between those two heritage breeds. If you breed them together, it'll be something different from that. So if, if you have the two parent breeds, you could keep producing them, but they won't reproduce after each other. So that's why some people prefer the heritage breeds over the hybrids. Overall, you should choose on what meets your needs best and what you're wanting to start out with. If you're wanting to have a more sustainable project where you're not going to the hatchery and buying more chickens or going to the store and buying more chicks that way, you might want to go with the heritage breed and then you can just keep reproducing your own chickens right on your farm from your, your stock. Or if it doesn't matter to you, and if you're looking for the most egg production, you might want to go with the hybrid like I did. I'm going to be trying heritage breeds in the future but these hybrids were a great experience to start off with because, again, they were more dur durable and they're producing more eggs than the traditional heritage breed would. Here's my review of my flock breeds, the California tan and California gray chickens. Let me know if you liked the video by giving it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.